Republicans head to the polls. President Biden has delivered a rare surprise speech to refocus voters, he says, warning democracies on the ballot. There's something else at stake. Democracy itself. I'm not the only one who sees it. Recent polls have shown that overwhelming majority of Americans believe our democracy at ri is at risk, that our democracy is under threat. Democracy is on the ballot this year, and they're deeply concerned about it. So today, I appeal to all Americans, regardless of party, to meet this moment of national and generational importance. Jeez Louise, no wonder they bring back Biden for a bit of energy in the campaign. Let's check in now with James Morrow, Rita Panahi, who are joining us now from Navarre in Florida, which is not far from Miami. James, the president's pulling out all the stops here. It seems to me that this, uh, it smells a bit of trouble for the Democrats. He's even visited Miami on a campaign swing, but it doesn't seem to have helped, does it? No, uh, Joe Biden has been down to the state to shore up the Democrat vote, which shows you just how concerned they are about the state of things going into next Tuesday. Now, we have early returns numbers out of Miami-Dade County. Here in Florida, they count the absentee ballots, the mail-in ballots, the write-in ballots uh, early, and they let you know what's going on. Republican registered voters have voted now by more than the Democrats, which shows that even in Miami-Dade, the Democrats are really on the nose across all of Florida. And we spoke to a lot of people uh, who say that there's going to be a red wave coming across the entire nation. Why do you want a red wave? Well, I'm just uh, conservative in my beliefs. I believe they have better policies on the right. Who do you like in the uh, coming midterms here in Florida? For governor? Yeah. Ron DeSantis. I think he did a great job during uh, the COVID crisis, and I think he has done a great job handling the state of Florida as a whole. The division would be number one, economy number two. We've spoken to a lot of Florida locals, and not a single one has said that Joe Biden coming to the state for this surprise visit will do anything to change their vote. They're not impressed. And even ones that we spoke to who were leaning Democrat in their votes also said they didn't think Joe Biden had been doing a good job or that he was up to the job. And one thing that we heard over and over again from voters, not just Floridians, but those from around the country who were here visiting, is that they do not want Joe Biden to run again in 2024. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know how much I can handle of that. I have a heater on in Melbourne in November. It's summer here. It's winter over there. And look how glorious it all looks. The beach and uh, the Hawaiian shirt there. Rita looks like she's on a holiday. They will keep us across it all. I know they're doing quite a lot uh, over the weekend, getting around, reporting back for us next week, but uh, it'll be good to catch up with them. Midterms, we'll have all the, re the numbers and the, the run-out detail Wednesday, uh, lunchtime-ish, our time here in Australia.